Someone ambushed the way mansion guards. The men sat there where the princess snatched the corpses. Then for Wishuyo. Mr. Silly, what do we do? What can we do? Get them back! Go! <laughs> Outside. The city gates for two hours. They won't cause trouble. of the third house. He didn't come for Lord Y. Mrs. Shea of the third house has been paralyzed for many years and doesn't receive guests. Please wait for Lord Y to come back. Please wait. doing, my lady? I have to admit, I feel just like the living dead. How well do you expect me to be? Are you you and yet? I heard as a child that you devoted yourself to Buddhism and became a hermit. It never occurred to me that you were imprisoned in this darkened, hidden room. For 16 years, I have been like a rat that never sees daylight. 
This is a joke of an existence. I came when invited to ask you to identify an old item. It's a dress my mother wore in the pavilion of bliss years ago. People say it's a peony dress only worn by inferior concubines of the pavilion. Two months ago, I found this dress in the pavilion of bliss. And found that it's a peony flower dress that only a legal wife can wear. Chinese peony and common peony are easily mistaken. Someone deliberately tarnished it. You guessed correctly. That is my dress. My mother was falsely accused of incest and adultery because that night she got drunk with you and she and wore a dress she didn't know the origin of. <laughs> Apparently, this is how you and she deceived everybody. That night, I will confess that your mother was with me. She was. I am a daughter of the Shia family from Lian, and the legal aunt of your mother. And on that night, she came to see me. And we drank some wine. I let your mother spend the night. You're probably aware of you and she's lack of morality. I was afraid he would damage your mother's reputation. My initial plan was to enter the secret chamber, grab this peony dress and then exchange it with your mother's. And then... And then after... Something terrible happened. That night... You and she... Managed to use his tricks to trap me here. I have been isolated for 16 years. They only left me two dumb maids... To care for me. How cruel he is. Why didn't he kill you? You think he didn't want to? He kept me alive to serve his own greed. He colluded with the spies of Lian. <sighs> I have said enough for today. If you want more stories, there are plenty more to tell. Tell me when to start. You and Ye, who let you in? I let myself in. Can't you see? It is you who started this fight. Don't blame me. Oh, by the way, I brought Mrs. Shell with me. You'd better think clearly. Be obedient and bring my grandmother back, or I'll shed the blood of everyone in Green Hill Court. Are you threatening me? Do you think I'm threatening? Aren't you afraid? The Emperor and nobles will joke about the infighting in the Yuen clan? Don't you fear that the third house will be ruined if Mrs. Shea suddenly shows up out of nowhere? Once it is disclosed, I won't get away with it. But neither.
neither will you. You are also from the Yuan clan. Okay. Try me then. If I report your collusion with the spice of the Liang to the Emperor, won't his majesty pardon me and reward me for exposing your crimes? You and you. What do you want from me? I'm going to the frontier soon. It's a place with strong wind and sand. The climate isn't good. I'm going there to suffer. Unlike you, you can enjoy life in the court. I'm narrow-minded and unhappy. How about this? I'll arrange for you to guard the Imperial Mausoleum. Because you're especially good at dealing with dead people. I'll give you three days to report to His Majesty. You must leave before I depart Shaman. If you don't, I'll send you to meet your ancestors. You are near. You've gone too far. 